Hello, it is another Sunday School with Mrs. Abaro. Today is the seventh Sunday of Easter, and in the Gospel reading from John chapter 17, from verses 11b to 19, Jesus prays for his disciples. Are we set to go through the reading? All right, but before then, let me ask you a question. Now, what things do young people do to try to be popular among their friends or pairs? What do you think they do? Say from 7 to maybe the teenage age, 12. What do they do to get popular? Uh, talk in some way, maybe imitate certain behaviors, wear certain kind of clothes. Huh? Yes. And why do you think people want to get popular in the first place? To be liked or accepted, isn't it? To be seen as different. Uh-huh. Yes. In the gospel reading, Jesus teaches us that there is something much more than being popular in the eyes of the world. Okay? Yes, we could get popular in the right sense. All right, children? He prays for his disciples not to be popular or liked by people people of the world, of course, but something much more important. Now, I need you to go through this um, short clip of the gospel reading and see if you can identify what Jesus asks from God for his disciples. Okay, through this very, very emotional prayer. Are we set? Have your Bible by your side open to John chapter 17, 11 B. Remember when we say B is the second sentence of that verse. Okay, read along, watch, listen. Okay, are we ready? Let's go. I pray for them. I do not pray for the world, but for those you gave me, for they belong to you. All I have is yours. And all you have is mine. And my glory has shown through them. And now I am coming to you. I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world. Holy Father, keep them safe by the power of your name, the name you gave me, so that they may be one, just as you and I are one. While I was with them, I kept them safe by the power of your name, the name you gave me. I protected them, and not one of them was lost, except the man who was bound to be lost, so that the scripture might come true. And now I am coming to you and I say these things in the world so that they may have my joy in their hearts in all its fullness. I gave them your message and the world hated them because they do not belong to the world just as I do not belong to the world. But I do not ask you to take them out of the world. But I do ask you to keep them safe from the evil one. Just as I do not belong to the world, they do not belong to the world. Dedicate them to yourself by means of the truth. Your word is truth. Oh, did you go through this prayer? Hmm? Did you feel Jesus praying for you? So emotional, right? You could feel the love Jesus has for his disciples. Okay, let me ask us some questions from this prayer. Okay, are we ready? What things does Jesus pray for when he prays for his disciples? What did he ask God for? Hmm? What? Were you paying attention? That they may be one. Yes. Jesus prayed that his disciples will be one. That they will be united together as he and the Father are one. What else did he pray for? For God to protect them from the evil one. Yes, Jesus asked for God to protect them by the power of his name. Yes, because the name of Jesus is a strong tower. Jesus asked that they be protected from the evil one. Okay, the evil in the world, the things that may lure us from him. Jesus is praying to God to protect his disciples from these things. Okay, from sin, from temptation. Okay, what else did they pray for? That they'll be sanctified in the truth because the word of God is truth. In other words, for them to live in the truth. Okay, God's truth. Right, children? And that can only be found in God's word, the Bible. How many of us have got our Bibles? How many of us study? Jesus wants us to study the word of God because that is the only tool that is going to guide us, okay, to live aright. I have another question. What does Jesus think is more important? Maybe more important than being just popular in the world. What is more important? Unity for us to live as 
one for us to live in God's truth. Okay, children? Yes, so living as one and living in God's truth. Okay? What does Jesus say will hold the disciples together when he prayed for them? What did he say? He said that the Lord should protect them by the power in his name, by the power of his name, the name of Jesus. Okay? Yes, because there is power in the name of Jesus. So Jesus is saying that when we call upon his name, we are protected. Okay, children? He also prayed that we will have his joy within us in our hearts. Let me see if we have another question. Oh, yes. What does Jesus mean when he says the disciples are not of the world? What does he mean? Is he saying they are aliens? <laughs> I don't think so. What is Jesus saying? He's saying that the disciples are light sent for the world's salvation. That is to say, they are light that are meant to shine for people to see. Remember the word of God says in Matthew, let your light so shine, okay, among men. Huh? Huh? That's what the word of God says, that our light should shine for men to see and give God praise. In other words, you need to do the things that God wants you to do. That way your light is shining. You are getting popular for God, leading people to God. When you your light shines, it means you're obedient. You do the right things. You honor your parents. You are obedient. You um help out in some chores, you share, you are truthful, you are honest, you do not bully, you do not use swear words, you try as much as you can to be a good child. Yes, that way you are allowing your light to shine and you are getting popular in the right sense. That way you are leading people to really come to you to wonder, how is it that you are this good, you are calm, you are obedient, you are respectful, you are hardworking, you share. You begin to let them know it's because you read God's word and Jesus helps you by the power of his name to be good. Okay, children, that's what Jesus is saying, that we should be light, not that we shouldn't be in the world, but we should reach out. Men should get to know that Jesus lives in us. Okay, children, all right, what have we learned? We have said some of them anyway, but let's just go through. What are the lessons? Jesus loves us dearly. Yes, he loves us. You see the way he prayed for his disciples? Out of love. He wants us to live in unity. He wants us to live as one. The name of Jesus protects us. Yes, by the power of his name. Remember, he has got to protect them by the power of his name. So when we call upon the name of Jesus, he's going to help us to be good. He's going to help us to stop to bully. He's going to help us to stop to hit our younger ones, okay? Or using swear words or telling lies. The name of Jesus helps us. All you need to do is to call upon him. Oh, Jesus, by the power of your name, help me not to lie again. Help me not to play rough. Help me not to bully. Help me to be a good child. And you see, he's going to help you. Is that okay, children? Yes. Are we ready to pray now? Position for prayer. Let's pray. God, our Father, protect us from the things that lead us away from you. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We come to the end of today's Sunday School. Don't forget that Jesus loves you and he cares for you. Till next Sunday, is bye from Mrs. Aburo. Don't forget, Jesus loves you. Call upon his name and you are protected. Stay blessed.